my name's Caitlin, and some of you may know me from Facebook right now. I am banned on both accounts, unfortunately. Anyways, I am here because I have been talking about starting a YouTube channel for a really long time now, and I invested a lot and researched a lot, which is really nerdy to even admit out loud, but it's really funny because I tend to jump into things, and I don't really like look up stuff about it. I just kind of like, I'm doing this, and then I do it, and then it's either like, a hit or a miss. So this will be a vlogging journey of me figuring out my new camera. Um, it's a Canon EOS, I think. Um, I'll put the details in the comments of everything that I talk about if there are questions about like what I'm using to record or whatever. But yeah, today is April 25th. It's four days after my birthday. It was my first birthday in quarantine and it was actually a very good one. If I post this on Facebook, Hopefully it won't get taken down for like talking shit about them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play this by ear. Um, but I am banned for 30 days and I made a joke and there are certain topics you can't speak of. So they didn't think it was very funny. And I got a 30 day ban and I sell jewelry online, which is what I am going to be getting to. Um, I wire wrap crystals and gemstones. And then I also use um, brain fart. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, which is really funny um, because I do a lot of live feeds. I've done some crazy live feeds in the past uh, and it's weird recording myself and not having feedback from my friends, but I kind of like it because I might be able to not be such a squirrel like I always am and go back and forth with stuff. Um, hopefully I'll be able to kind of stay on topic, um, but this is going to be my, in my intro video and it, I was supposed to go to the firefighter ball tonight, um, April 25th, that's what I was getting to. And because of the situation that we are all in, I'm obviously not going to a ball, let alone anywhere. Um, and I bought six ball gowns from Windsor, 60% off, um, right before my birthday. I want to say a few days before my birthday, because I was like, oh, maybe I'll get them in time for the ball and I will get drunk and try them on and maybe record my first YouTube. However, I am not getting drunk because... I forgot to ship alcohol, which is fine. I was, it's probably for the best. I'm going to go get margaritas later, but I should probably record sober at least for the first time. So I'm not an idiot. Um, but yeah, so I sell jewelry online. My website is www.etsy.com slash shop slash Caitlin's crystals four two one. Um, I also do flash sales, probably like three to four a week, depending on what I've got going on that week on Facebook. And my main page is Caitlin Spear. And then my backup is Caitlin Marie. I have a girl group called the Contour Voyeur that I created and run with a bunch of my best friends. And then I also admin a group called The Void that is based on the West Coast. Um, and it's annoying being able, not being able to respond to my friends or anything. I can only use Instagram right now. I'm big on social media. It's funny, not like big isn't a big deal, but big on social media as in I use different platforms often. Um, and I interact with a lot of people online. It's funny because a lot of people have asked me to start a YouTube. So hopefully all the people in the past that have said that I need to start a YouTube actually subscribe to my YouTube and comment on it and give me ideas to vlog because I did my research as I was talking about earlier and I started following um, YouTube channels that kind of inspired me. So a lot of people that I follow on YouTube and like, like their videos and stuff, I'm going to try to incorporate some of those things. I always thought that YouTube was for just like, like I thought that like influencers were mostly makeup artists and that was it. I love makeup. I own a lot of makeup. I buy a lot of makeup. I'm not the best at makeup. So I've never like labeled myself as a makeup artist, but like, I guess makeup is one of my mediums artistically that I like to explore. So I just like the art of it. Um, when I started watching YouTube videos, I was like, Oh my God, people review stuff. I like, I didn't even, it's so funny because I've been on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, like, all of the above, like pump up. It's a fitness app. Like I'm very active and I've never even really took the time to like go through YouTube and get addicted to YouTube. Like I am now um, there. I started watching different channels that inspired me and I did not even realize that like shopping is like an actual thing. Like people open hauls or whatever and try them on and review different brands. 
I didn't know that was a thing. That is right up my alley. So that is what this channel will be a lot of. I'm going to review different brands, different clothing brands, different beauty brands, um, maybe fitness stuff, maybe, I don't know, it's gonna be like a vlog channel, I guess you could say. This very first video, I just kind of wanted to like talk about who I am and why I'm even doing this or whatever and what I'm trying, the vibe I'm trying to create. I'm dating a firefighter. He's an engineer on the fire department. And I was really looking forward to doing this with him because literally the fight, we, we don't take cute couple pics ever. And it's like the one day of the year we get cute as and take cute pics together. And last year we were just best friends. We weren't um, dating at the time and now we are and we're in a committed relationship. So I was really looking forward to it. So he's working today. That's a 24 hour shift. And so while he's working and we should be at the ball, I am going to review all of these dresses. I have six of them. And then I also picked out jewelry that I would wear with it. Not really, because if this were really me going to the ball, I am so extra and I normally create like a whole set of jewelry. I'm wearing one of my own. I'm almost always wearing something that I made. I am big on fashion. I create jewelry based off of outfits. Like not everything I make, but that is why I started creating and sharing my art. And I like to be able to be like, oh, I want to wear this rock with this dress. So, um, I did full glam also. This is me trying to be cute. This is me wearing like neutral-ish eye makeup, but also like full glam for me. Pretending I'm going to the ball. Like I even lined my lips. Like I don't normally do that. Um, <laughs> um, because I want this to feel like I actually got ready for the ball, which I really do feel like it because I'm going to show you what I use to get ready real quick. I'm going to do that first. This is the fun part. Okay. So I have my little, my little tray, my little skull tray. Um, the first thing I did was I used, what brand is this? Bota and it is CBD eye cream. I don't know if you can even, I'm not going to try because I feel like you're not going to like see it very well. Um, it, I don't even know what it does. It just feels great. I love it. It really does have like a calming effect, not even like mentally, but physically, like your eyes really do relax. I am older. I'm a 28 year old woman. So I am realizing that years of sun and damage living in Florida really me up. And I have like, I just am a lot more gentle with my eyes and my skin. And I try to do more of a skincare routine versus throwing on a ton of makeup. However, wearing a ton of makeup right now because I'm going to the ball, remember? Um, but yeah, that was the first step. Then I tried this out for the first time. This is part of my birthday splurge. It's Mary Jane CBD Glow Serum by Truly. Did a little bit of that. I would normally never ever do that and a primer, but I'm going to the ball, remember? So I was really trying to like treat myself. I use Skin Becca Skin Love Brighten Blur Primer. Then I am weird. I do concealer before foundation. I know a lot of people don't do that, but I do. I use um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C6. I literally go through this stuff like it is no one's business. This is like, if I had to only have one thing, I would never think that it would ever be concealer, but it'd probably be this concealer. Um, I used Amazonian Clay for the first time in a really long time, and I'm excited because during this quarantine, I've got a little bit more sun than I have in a really long time. Um, and so normally it oxidizes a little bit. So if I'm my pale self, I can't wear this. I wear something else. I wear Milani, but it's my very first foundation, like my first like real foundation. So yeah, I use light, light, medium, neutral, um, in that love that set it with Milani prep set and go. This is like drugstore and I love it. And it's a newer addition. When I decided this, is, this is another funny little spiel. When I decided to start my YouTube channel, I just, I just, um, bought a lot of shit. I was like, Ooh, I'm gonna do a video on different foundations. And like, I literally bought a whole box of like foundation powders, blah, blah, blah. But didn't like do the work of like getting ready to start my YouTube. There was a lot of me cleaning, buying furniture to organize my entire space and decorate, have it look cute ish. I don't know. It looks, it looks like, um, and just make it look nice before I even bought a camera. I didn't even have a camera and I bought all these products. So that was kind of a bust, but at the same time it was motivation. I've been doing this for like nine months cause I'm slow. Like, you know, um, but yeah, I use that and then, oh my God, I love this so much. Cover FX perfecter face palette in light medium is one of the only contour shades that 
doesn't make me look like I smeared mud all over my face, like even when I'm pale, you know? So I'm really stoked about that. Use that for contour. Then I use the Anastasia brow, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer in um, granite because I have black hair. Is a look. Um, use that and then eyeshadow. Oh wait, no, I'm skipping ahead. Then I used Blush and Bali BH Cosmetics. Another birthday buy. I did a big, did a big splurge um, from Ulta for YouTube slash my birthday because I was just like doing it. Um, I used glisten um, as highlight and then i also use lychee and coral these two sorry these two like mixed them and did a little bit of blush i haven't been wearing blush in a really long time so it just felt good to like bust it out because like i said i'm like treating myself i'm trying to pretend i'm going to the ball um <laughs> use that okay so eyeshadow i used three different palettes i used makeup revolution patricia bright Oh my God. Earlier, this was like, it's a really nice mirror and I, I actually really love it. I love all the colors. Um, I used this little pale color like all over as a base. And then I used, what does this say? Mod Hill? Mod, I, don't, I don't know how to say that, but this brown, I used that like in the upper middle crease. Oh my God. So Carly Bible, Anastasia Beverly Hills is one of my favorite palettes. I used the color Bible this one this is literally my favorite color ever on any eyeshadow palette ever and i use that as like my main color like right there blend it out um and then i used i'm almost on my makeup and then we can talk about dresses i'm excited um then i used paradise on top and this is the bh cosmetics summer in saint tropez i'm in florida a lot of y'all i feel like don't have to deal with humidity but here we are i do so i'm gonna probably be sweaty by the time this is over but you know what i sprayed my face with nyx a setting spray that's another thing in my uh, vanity so it, sh it should be fine even if i'm sweaty everywhere else my face is gonna look beat it's gonna be all right um i use just a random mascara in my bathroom because i do my liner in the bathroom i um use nyx liquid matte that is like the holy grail of liquid eyeliner. There's not a single liquid eyeliner that comes anywhere close to that at all. Um, so yeah, I used that and just a random, I think it was like a L'Oreal mascara and that's it on the getting ready part. But okay, so <laughs> these are the six dresses. I also have shoes down here. I'm not big on shoes, but I bought them already. That's how excited I was about this. I don't even wear heels and I bought, <laughs> I bought heels nude and black from nasty gal and i'm probably gonna try this one on last as you can see this is very purple glittery i love that here is a pink one and also i picked out jewelry for each look okay so i'm back i had to i had to take off that choker because it's getting way too hot the first thing i'm gonna try on Ooh, this looks it's funny because it looks a little bit different color in there i probably i don't know but this is like a dark red it says burgundy i want to say it's definitely not like a deep burgundy burgundy wine which yeah that makes more sense it's kind of like looks like a cabernet color um but i really like this and i didn't expect to like it this much i hope it looks cute on i'm gonna style it with a citrine body chain and a maroon pyrite choker that i made so i will be back let you see what it looks like on hopefully it looks cute this is the first one and I'm wearing, I'm wearing nipple cover, so it's fine. Um, I don't love it. I like it. I think that it is worth the price. I pulled out the, the receipt so I could kind of like go over everything with you guys. So this is a Elizabeth pleated tulle formal dress, burgundy large. It was originally $36.90, which that's very, very affordable for a like ball gown or a prom dress. Although... I think this is a little risque for a prom. I love the back of it. The back is cute. I like that. Um, the front. So this is the thing. To have this, I don't like, I don't like this, this, I don't trust myself to have a slit this high up. I like it, but this is more of like a New Year's dress. I don't think my boobs are big enough for it. I, I like dresses that are deep plunge, but it doesn't have any stretch. This part is like not stretchy and it feels like 
if I were to dance all night, I'd probably rip this, honestly. Like, I don't think if I bought this box and I tried all these on, this would be the winner. It is cute, though. I'll probably keep it. I'll give you guys another look. I'm wearing, this is my citrine body chain, and I'm wearing a pyrite maroon choker. I might be doing giveaways here soon, depending on how many subscribers I get. So if the dresses are something that you want, that like not the ones that I like love that I might wear eventually if the ball happens probably won't now um but yeah so I mean there I don't believe in returning things <laughs> that sounds so silly but I cut off the tags this is either going to be donated or gifted sold probably not sold um it was 60% off I paid $15.90 I'm not mad at it so the next one is going to be this blue dress and I styled it with a holographic Sonalite collar that sold last night, I believe, on my Instagram flash sale. Sorry, my face is cut out. I'm an idiot. I'm learning, guys. We're doing this together, okay? Um, but yeah, so this is a really pretty blue dress. I don't know how I feel about the top. We will see once it's on. I don't think the top is going to look flattering on me, but we'll see. I kind of wanted to wear blue this year because I've never had blue hair and I was really excited about it. So we shall see how much I like it. Oh my God. I love this more than I thought I would. You can just, I wonder, I haven't even looked at the price difference, but you can just tell it's more expensive. Hopefully I'm right. This will be a fun little thing if I am. Um, you can just tell, like, I don't like padding. I have small boobs. I embrace my small boobs. I genuinely rip out padding of bathing suits, of tops for the most part. I don't like it. I have small tits. I have embraced them. So I normally steer clear of things with padding. Um, sometimes, just depending. But this, I like. It's like a little bit up top. So it kind of just makes this fit me better. Straps are nicer. You can tell they're not going to bust out the seams. I don't have to worry about a nip slip, even though this is very low cut to where you can see my tattoos. Um, you can adjust the straps. I just didn't. This is literally me throwing this on as is. I don't love the back, but I don't hate it. Like, it's funny because I picked one with a cuter back last year, but this year I kind of have boobs a little bit. So it's like, you know, I'm not gonna be mad if I have one that's like cuter from the front because you know what? My face is pretty from the front, so I can take cute pictures from the front. I don't necessarily have to show off my back because right now I'm a little thick. Like I said, I don't think that I'm fat. I'm not body shaming anyone that is bigger than me or my body type. I love my body. I love my body at every size. But I know my body best, style-wise, like what looks better on my body when I'm thin versus curvy. And this is a, this is such a cute style. Like when I'm thicker, I love like the tight, like up here and then kind of like drop waist. But yeah, so the next one I'm gonna do is, ooh, I love this one. A dark green, very like, I think it's satin piece that might be unforgiving, but we shall see. I've never worn dark green, like, in a dress, I don't think. Like, I love it in, like, crop tops and, like, pants, sweatshirts. I just don't think I've ever worn dark green as a dress. So, this is a first for me, and I'm pairing it with a dark green choker with blue kyanite and an emerald necklace. This is not the kind of dress that I would wear at this size right now and feel comfortable like eating, dancing, drinking, and just like feeling good about myself. It's super cute. I love it. I feel like I love tight satin dresses to an extent, but this would look good in selfies like this and like this, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel good in person. That sounds so lame, but you know, like you're gonna spend this much money to go out and get dolled up and like want photos with your significant other. You wanna look cute, but at the same time, you wanna feel like you can breathe. Like, I like it. I feel like if I haven't been binge eating all week or all freaking quarantine, it'd be fine. I've gained a few pounds. It's fine, but I don't love it. It's cute. I love the color. I love the way it makes my booty look. I feel like my booty looks nice. I forgot to talk about the price of the blue one. Like we talked about, but then I didn't check it. Apparently, the reason it fits so nice, it's a size nine. So it's not small, medium, large. It was a nine. That's why it fit so well on my body right now. I'm 175, 5'7. So if that gives you 
any clue as to what size you would wear. But yeah, so the blue dress, I was right, was a little bit more than the other one. Not by much. It was $42.90 and then it was $19 with a discount. This green one, however, let's see. It looks like it says llama. <laughs> Llama Satin Column Gown, that's what this is called, in hunter green, size large. This one was $59.90 with a discount $25.74. So again, not bad, like definitely lower end price-wise, but I would be a little mad at myself. Not the dress. Don't beat up the dress. This is my body type. So this is the next dress. It's a red glittery dress, and I am pairing it with a gold-wrapped I think this is a mother of pearl shell on a bronze chain because I like the way bronze and like red look together. It is so weird that I love this dress as much as I do from the side. I mean, okay, so let's get this straight. I don't love this, but this material is so weirdly nice. It's stretchy, but like thick. So it's kind of hugging everything in and it's glittery, which can look cheap and or be uncomfortable, but I don't hate it. Like, I would never, ever, ever choose a top like this. Like, it's like a square. I would never choose that for myself. But I want, I'm like, you know what, make a video. This is a shopping video. I wanna get out of my comfort zone. I normally would never choose like this like square top thing going on, but it ties up in the back and then it's like higher up. I like this. I don't love it, but I do like, you can't, I can't even like show you the bottom, but I love the bottom. It's like mermaid style-ish. So this was Blanca Formal Glitter Latisse Dress Red Large, $59.90. Material makes sense. The ones that were 60 so far have been really nice, thick material. Um, and then it was $25.74. So I don't hate it. I don't, Love, love, love it, but I, I, I like it. I surprisingly like it. So yeah, next one up. Ooh, okay, so these, I saved the, the best two for last. So when I was blonde, I wore so much pink. So anyways, I love this. I hope it looks cute on. I have a good feeling about it. It's very princessy and flowy, and I'm pairing it with a silver wrapped mother of pearl shell. I knew I was gonna like it, but I freaking love, I love this. It's so flowy. I think it looks good with my hair color right now. Um, I feel like I could just be like this all night. It has that slit that I don't like, but because it's strong up top, I can pull it down, which makes it tighter on my boobs, which is better. No nip slips. I can tell even though it's super low cut, wouldn't have a nip slip. And the slit is more down, like more comfortably. Also, it's cheaper than the other one I liked more. This one, $44.90 and Bridget double slit dress and it was 1932 with the discount which it was literally twenty dollars this this right now could maybe be the winner okay, so the grand finale I have been obsessed with this dress since I first got it everyone when I first posted that I bought all these and the contour board was like oh my god so I really hope this fits right. And then this is a statement necklace, which is um, lilac aura quartz. It's a huge rock. It wouldn't be realistic for me to wear this to the ball and think that I'm going to wear it the whole time. But I planned on having a hotel room because it is my birthday. It's the weekend after my birthday. And I had a, I was going to have a whole cute, like nice room to get ready in so I could wear it for pictures and then take it off and change. But yeah, so this is it's styled. This is definitely the winner. <laughs> However, I would be super uncomfortable, but look how cute that is. Funny though, because this is literally the exact same dress from a different brand that I wore last year in black, which is silly that I would pick the exact same style, but I love it. Like, I don't know, I just love the color. I love that, I just love that it doesn't like clash with my hair, even though it's like lilac. I don't know, I just think it's super cute. What do you guys think? So I would like you to, first of all, subscribe to my channel if you liked this video and you wanna see more shopping hauls and or reviews. Also comment down below if for future giveaways, these dresses would be something you'd be interested in. And comment down below which one was your favorite. 
But yeah, thank you for coming to watch this.